Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about five things I think frugal people should stop doing. Let's get started and talk about it. I got this fabulous idea from another YouTube channel under the medium. Many of you already know and watch Hope and Larry. Fantastic couple. I get a lot of great tips from them. I'm going to link their video below in the comments so you can watch what their opinion is of mistakes they think frugal people make. I think this is an interesting video. So, the first mistake that I think many people, frugal people make is number one, over stockpiling. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having extra food on hand at all, but I do know of some frugal people that ended up purchasing too much you know, beans, rice, things like that, and they ended up having to donate a lot of their stockpile because they just simply couldn't go through it that much. I think it's great to be prepared, but we want to make sure that we take care of the food that we have and store it properly so that we're not wasting it. So there's a trend to stockpile food because of food prices, and, and I think that's great, but we want to make sure not to buy too much so that the food doesn't go rancid or bad. So that's number one mistake. Number two, settling for less than of what you love. And I do totally understand why people want to settle for less. And let me give you uh, why I say that. The other day, I was craving pickles. I really enjoy pickles, but I like the refrigerated pickles that are really crunchy. Well, there was a national brand of pickle that I really wanted. Well, for a jar of those pickles, it was $9.45. I'll be honest with you. I settled for less and bought the store brand for what that was a little over $3. I bought it. It was refrigerated, but I bought the store brand. I know it may not be as good. So there are some cases where sometimes we may want to settle for less because the price is way more than what we want. But if you can buy what you really love and you know what you're going to use, but buy less of it, you may actually get better value than settling for things you really don't like all that much and never getting around to using. And so it has to be kind of a balancing act in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Okay, number three, and I've been guilty of this one, I'm getting better, buying things just because they're on sale and clearance. I've already told you guys this on many occasions. Many of the things right now that are sale and clearance are not even that great of a deal. They're simply just like a sale price and if something's 15% off, I don't consider that clearance. But many times people will think because it says sale or clearance, they just assume they're getting a great deal and they try to stock up on those items. Number four, and I used to have a friend that used to do this all the time, and this is, you know, years ago. She used to, you know, always said she was frugal. She was a big couponer. She was always trying to get the best deal. She, um, I'm not even kidding, she was out shopping almost every single day, day. She was either at thrift stores, garage sales, clearance racks, double, triple couponing. She was always purchasing things. Anyway, I had actually never been to her house before because we had a coupon meeting at my home. So I've never actually been to her home. But I had heard from another friend that her house was basically stacked up with all the stuff that, you know, clothing that she wasn't wearing and all these things. So really, I think many times frugal folks can be out shopping all the time because they're looking for the next best deal because they want to get the very best price they can. And then you end up with a lot of stuff you may not even use. Okay, number five, this is a huge one. They compare themselves to others and it's like a competition about who's the most frugal, who lives on the lowest income. These are mistakes that I see frugal people making, and I know I've made some of these mistakes. I want to hear from you. What are some mistakes that you guys see frugal people making, and what are some mistakes you've made as a frugal person? When you're done watching this video, go out and check Under the Median's video on this topic. I think their video was extremely valuable, and that's all I have to say for now. I hope to see you on tomorrow's video. I love you, I appreciate you, and one of my favorite parts of my day is reading your fabulous comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.